What's up YouTube? It's your boy Lou Dizzle doing another unboxing. This one should be pretty sweet. Kinda cheated on you guys. I uh, got a really killer piece of gear in last night and I was just so frustrated I was having a bad day. I didn't do the unboxing or the install but I'll get back to that because today's going better so I don't know. I'll show you guys what it is uh, in another video but for now let's get to cutting this sucker open because uh, I got the notification on my phone that it came in and I'm pretty excited about this because the piece of equipment I got in yesterday and installed will be uh, running these bad boys. So, oh man, this knife sucks. Uh, cut it up. What do we have here? Let's see, what do we have? What does the old Lou Dizzle got going on here? Oh. Oh, what could that be? Uh-oh, I see Focal. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got going on here now. Oh, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Let's see if I can, there we go. There we go, the Focal. Polyglass 165VB. Man, the lighting sucks in here. There it is. Pretty excited about that. These suckers ran about 500 bucks for these two uh, sets here. Still a pretty good deal. So there it is. Two sets of Focal uh, Polyglass 165 BB. So uh, we got four, four uh, six and a half, and four tweeters, and four crossovers here. So let's roll it over. Oh yeah, uh, I've got uh, I've got two of these right now, or one set per se, in the car right now, uh, just in the doors, and it sounds pretty freaking killer. Uh, hopefully, I can find out today when my kick panels will be sent out because tonight I'm gonna install uh, a set of these in my rear deck, and then as soon as I get my kick panels in. I can uh, install some in the kick panels, which uh, my front stage should sound excellent with a set of these in the doors and a set in the kick panels. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, some progress in the rebuild. This week's just going to be absolutely crazy when it comes to stuff coming in and etc. I got my uh, 210 amp DC power alternator getting shipped out Friday. Uh, my license I should have that back by Friday so if I can get that back by Friday I gotta take like a six hour drive to go pick up my batteries got a excess power D3400 for under the hood and two excess power D3100s for the trunk so even though I got no base and no amps right now for base uh, I'm getting my electrical pimping on so uh, I should have batteries and a charging system sufficient for I'm figuring about 5,000 watts total so uh, pretty excited about that and uh, you know like I said in one of my other videos there's no more just throwing stuff in so I have something it's it's if it's not going to be in the final build I'm not getting it because there came a point where I was just switching out so much equipment and I'd make it all nice and tidy just a two days later tear it apart and redo something else so I gave up on all that I'm just gonna go without base for a little while uh, once I get you know all these in and the kick panels and stuff then I'm gonna save to get one more set for my rear deck and it's gonna cost me a nice chunk of change to get my rear deck uh, fiberglass and stuff but uh, I'm not getting any base or base amps or a box or anything like that so all my highs are in and the fiberglass seems done because I'm still looking to get a, uh, a 4 inch Focal coaxial to go on my A pillar and an additional 1 inch tweeter to go in my sail panel so the 1 inch tweeter that's there now can get relocated closer to the 6.5 inch mid range that is in the door. So just a quick update for you guys. I love getting stuff in the mail. This is definitely something to fap to here. Uh, one of my cars here later on tonight, I'll show you what else I got in because it is dead sexy. So, Lou Dizzle, signing out. Thanks for watching.